Okay, I'm approaching Patong, coming from Caron, and I see a police checkpoint on the right-hand side of the road, right there. And I need to get them to speak to me about the latest changes of the laws and the new fines that are being imposed. So what I've done, I read past, I went up the road, I've done a U-turn, and I come back in the hope that they're going to pull me. Body cab. Yes. How are you? <laughs> You want my license? Driver's license? Yes, sir. There you go. That's my driver's license. Uh, where you stay? Where you want to go? Uh, I stay in Kamala. Kamala. How long you stay here? Uh, one more week. One more week. Yeah. <coughs> you have international license? Yes. Yes. Yeah, sorry, yes. <laughs> I have them. Yes. Must have international license, right? Yes, sir. Here in Thailand. Yes, sir. This country license you can use in your country and for yes. all Europe. But if, if in Thailand must have international license, right? Yes, cool. If you don't have international license, you must have ASEAN license. Yes, but if you don't have, what, what is the fine? You must pay a fine for this station, thousand baht. One thousand. Yes. Okay. It, is that fine increasing to two thousand baht for the high season? Hmm? Is the fine for for no helmet, uh. no license, is one thousand? Uh. Is it going to increase to oh, 2,000? Yes. Yeah, now yes. it's oh. changed already. Now. Yes. About helmet now. Yes. Helmet now, the new law in Thailand, around 4,000 baht. 4,000 yeah. for no helmet? Yeah, but now we're waiting for 90 days for, for using this one. Yes, now okay. The new law, except from the government already, but we're waiting 90 days. Yeah. 90 days? Okay. For, wow. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know also to yeah must have four thousand for no license. And yeah. separate, huh? oh. four and four. Four and four. But now what? Uh, one thousand. It now is only one. Uh, but in in October, we'll we'll change to four. Yes, sir. Ah, wow. Okay. Same. When you park one way, you park half late traffic. Everyone change up because accident every day. Accident. I, I know. Ha accident every day. Okay. Oh my friend, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank cool, you. cool, cool. Really decent. Have a good day. Thank you. There you go guys there you have it i i've been driving around trying to get caught by the police so i can ask them those questions so you can hear it from their own words that the fines for no helmet and no international driver's license from the first of october is going to be four thousand baht you know you've heard it here you've got it from the horse's mouth i i, I will I will give more information about other fines being implemented, but I was really glad that I caught that one on tape. I'm happy. <laughs> Good day and welcome to today's vlog. Really important vlog. Really important information about... <laughs> no. Not the tourist police, the Phuket Police Department. Now a lot of people moan about them. I've had a moan about them. But Phuket is famous for the police roadblocks. And the fines that are imposed instantly if you're not wearing a bash hat and you haven't got an international driver's license. They're the main two concerns of the Phuket police. The fines at the moment are 1,000 baht. But today, I've been riding about the scooter. 
with my dash cam i've had to put a dash cam on there so i can go through the police checks obviously get pulled over which isn't easy when you've got a camera on so i can ask them the questions about the new laws and how much the fines are going to be that sorry not new laws just the new fines and that i managed to do uh, about an hour ago so that was really good so i'll run that clip i've also got lots and lots of clips of where all the other roadblocks usually are the the more prominent roadblocks so you guys will be able to expect uh, to find the Phuket police in these specific roadblocks on a daily basis now the thing of it is i mean the main two things you need is when you're riding a motorbike more or less anywhere in the world you do need a bash hat it is law right it's not rocket science yeah you're like ah oh, i don't want to wear a bash hat well it's up to you if you don't want to wear a bash hat now it's going to cost you four not one four thousand baht okay and this you'll need it's, it's a simple thing it's an international driver's license just go to your post office take your ordinary driver's license with you and a photograph and then you will get your stamps for what countries you want to drive whatever you're qualified to drive it's that simple because if you don't have one of these the fines are changing the rumor is on the island the fines are all going to double from 1000 baht to 2000 baht that is not true 4,000 baht, 100 quid, instant fine. But do you know what, I'm, I'm here. There's not many countries, if you're in the UK and you didn't have a license, you didn't have a bash out, or the USA, you'll probably get pulled and go to prison and pay a big empty fine and probably shit yourself waiting for that court appearance. Here, it's instant, instant relief, just pay and go which is why a lot of people break the law but the main thing behind it is all they're trying to do is reduce the amount of accidents over 60 people every single year die from motorcycle accidents that is let alone of over the thousands that have accidents and aren't fatal you know the hospital cases from the mopeds all from tourists and peak season is now coming okay people do go oh, okay the police want to make up for the money the fines they haven't had well maybe they do but at the end of the day it's like anywhere in the world if you're breaking the law and you get caught expect to be fined don't do the crime if you can't pay the fine more laws coming into play okay if you get caught smoking cannabis right get caught smoking cannabis anywhere twenty thousand baht uh, that's the fine 20,000 baht you know nearly 500 quid if you if you're caught smoking cannabis okay and they are also looking at if you don't have the money you're going to do a 90 day stretch uh th th this is new new news and if you're in a motor car and you don't have your seat belt on in the back seat you're going to get fined 20,000 baht uh that's current the drink driving, if you get caught for drink driving at the moment, I mean, fucking hell, man. If you get caught for drink driving where I come from, you'd probably go to prison, right? You get caught drink driving here, it used to be a 10,000 baht fine, 200 odd quid. Now it's 20,000. So it's still, I mean, it's a drop in the ocean for a fine for drink driving. You know, you get caught for that. You may have a bit of a dim view on it. So don't fucking do it. It's that simple, I don't really. Um, I go out and get all my work done where I'm sort of going, which is why I don't really go out at night because I have had a few beers in the afternoon. It's that simple and I really like, I really like supping my beers in the sun in an of an afternoon rather than in bars uh, of an evening, you know, with a load of din. So they are, that is the Phuket Police public information film you know just be aware of when you're coming to phuket what's going to happen to you if you're breaking the law and you get pulled over at a police check i get pulled over quite regularly now yeah even having the camera on as such but it's just a matter of like 
wearing me out and having the strap done up. You know, I've, I've done it. Um, I got warned about not having the strap. I just, I, I took the warning. So now it's like, I, I actually do the strap up, you know. Uh, and the police are generally all right. You show them your information, your license. You know, the guys, they, they're okay. Uh, just have on your person what they require. And then it's happy days, they just let you go. It's that easy. And it's, it's over within a few seconds. So get a hat and get your international license. They're the two main factors. Uh, and I just believe it's fair warning to tell people that are looking to come to Phuket to have that. And then if they do get pulled over and fined, they haven't really got an excuse, have they? Because there is uh, a video on YouTube all about Phuket and the police and what to be aware of. So you haven't really got an excuse now. If you are, I did not. Well, you do though. You have a look on the internet and you will, you'll find out, you know. So, oh man, at the ending then, isn't it, really? That's it, I run out of words. Don't know what else to say. Uh, like I say, I will try and work something out with this vlog with me talking here with the plod shop. I've just done that and I'll put in the clips. Uh, I'll try and work something out so you'll probably be seeing clips of the stops or, or not, or I might put them together in between and do a voiceover. Oh, so much, mate. So much to think of when it comes to an edit. I much prefer my old style of vlogging, which we'll be back to very shortly. Don't go away. We will be. Ah, so don't go anywhere. Happy ending. Coming right up. Police checks. How are you, buddy? Good? Your passport? Uh, where are you going? I'm not going home. Kamala. Kamala? Yes. Camera. Camera. Uh, microphone. Mm -hmm. Or camera. Okay, okay. It's okay. Cheers, buddy. Have a good day. Woohoo! He, he probably didn't see the camera, but in my left-hand pocket, I've just been to see a man about a dog. He, he's looking all through me bum bag, but he never looked in me left pocket because I still don't know how legal it is actually to carry weed. But, you know, it is what it is. Those police checks are everywhere. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Not an easy vlog to make with the Phuket police, but you know, it is what it is. So if you're coming to Phuket, show yourself a bit of dignity and respect, get your international driver's license, wear a bash hat, and don't upset the old Bill. <laughs> it's a bit rich coming from me, I know. But it is, it is what it is, isn't it? You know, don't start moaning about the old bill that they're finding you, because they literally are finding you because you have broken the law. You know, you try and get that into your, try and, try and understand that, you know, rather than moping about the police or this and that, try, try and get in your head, it's because you have broken the law. And the police tend to get a bit, do you know what I mean? They, they, they do actually start, you know, getting, they do become a little bit of a job's worth if, of course, you are breaking the law. So, cheers. Almost.
Oh, mate. Oh, so good. So good. So, pig season, October the 1st, be aware. Just be prepared. And hopefully, if you pay attention, the injuries and the deaths on Phuket will go down. They'll start to decrease. Now, I don't know. <laughs> I don't mean you've got to pay a blind bit of fucking notice to anything I say, really. You know, you're like, I ain't wearing a hat. 4,000 baht for no hat and no license. So, cheers. Guys, appreciate you watching today's vlog. Um, this ain't the first one, that's the third one. I've now sat there drinking my Leo's because it's just so good sitting there in the sun and the shade drinking Leo's it's just awesome but one thing you must not do <laughs> after a few don't get on your horse leave your horse at home all right okay well, that is today's vlog, the Phuket police and how to avoid them <clears throat> and how to avoid getting fined. So, appreciate you watching and until next time, au revoir.